Today we're going to be taking a look at the best wiring options for your 2014 Mazda CX-9. So here we're going to have the Kurt wiring harness, and in the middle is going to be the Tecantra, and then finally over here we're going to have the Hopkins. Now the way we're going to mount our converter box in our vehicle is going to differ from each kit. Now with our Kurt here, they do provide us with some double-sided foam tape, so we're going to need to find a flat surface that we can mount this to. The Tecancha also provides us with some double-sided foam tape, but we also have the option of having this tab right here. We can either zip tie it or take a self-tapping screw and firmly secure it to a flat area. The Hopkins does not provide us with any double-sided tape, but there is holes on each side of our converter box so we can zip tie it to a flat surface as well. One other thing I like about the Tecancha is you can see there's an epoxy type material right here where the wires are coming in from my converter box and that's going to be a potting material and this entire converter box is filled up with it so it's going to resist any kind of shock and resistance or jarring around if it isn't secure when we're driving down the road and have much more durability. One thing I really like about the Hopkins kit here is that most of our connections are already made. Yes, we are still going to have to plug in our connectors, but our buck connectors are pre-installed on our charge wire, as well as the fuse holder, and the fuse is already in place as well. Another nice feature of the Hopkins is they do provide you with a small amount of dielectric grease. That way, once you put your connections together, you don't have to worry about moisture buildup or any corrosion. Now, one benefit that the Hopkins has that I really like is that since we are going to have to drop down our four pole out of our hatch and close it, we're not really going to have to worry about it damaging the wire, but Hopkins has taken the extra step to put a protective sheathing on there, giving it extra protection and durability. One benefit that Kurt has that I like is since we are going to have to run a wire to our battery and the wiring is going to stay on the inside, we are going to have to go from the inside to the outside of the vehicle. Now they did provide us with some silicone, so once we find a grommet that we can go through, we can seal it back up. Now as far as power rating goes, our Kurt and Tecancha both are going to come with a 10 amp fuse, which is going to be plenty to run a basic trailer with all your lights. Now the Hopkins on the other hand is going to come with a much larger fuse, it's going to have a 20 amp fuse in there, so if you have a lot of lights on your trailer, I think this would be a good choice because it will be able to handle that. All three of our kits do come with the necessary hardware, zip ties, and self-tapping screws to get everything in place and secure. Now each of our kits are going to give it the same end result. We're going to get a four pole flat trailer connector and they're all going to stay inside the vehicle. So when we're not towing it, we can go in and lift up our spare tire compartment and we can store it in there. Now each one of our kits are going to install relatively the same and it's going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to have a T connector that's going to go in between our tail light and our factory wiring. And we're going to have to ground our system. And each one of our kits are going to come with a module box. Now since each one of our kits does use a converter box, what that means is, is that's going to take the signal from our factory wiring harness and it's going to convert it into the usable source for our trailer connector but it's also going to prevent any damage if there's any back feeding from the trailer end to coming back onto our vehicle protecting our wiring. Now each one of our kits are a separate powered module box so they're going to provide us with the fuse holders and the wires to run to our battery along with the fuses. So to sum everything up, I think all three of these kits are going to be a great option but if ease of installation is your concern, each one of these kits are going to install relatively the same so I don't think there's really much of a benefit from one to the other. Now if durability is your main concern, I think that Tecancha is going to take it here purely because of the potting material that's in the converter box being able to withstand all the jarring and bumpy roads that you may go down. If power rating is your main concern, I think the Hopkins is going to take it here purely because they do provide you with that 20 amp fuse, which means that you're going to be able to have a lot more lights on your trailer and be able to handle that load. And that'll finish up the look at the best wiring options for your Mazda. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.